This is the Reinhardt's Rundown, and I'm Dr. Victoria Reinhardt. We've been going through a series on topical products, and today we're looking at application. Specifically, when you might have more than one topical product to apply. Remember, there's about 15 different topical corticosteroids available by prescription. They vary greatly in strength, potency, and dosage form. Dosage form, remember, also matters. Ointments having a higher oil percentage and a lower water percentage. Ointments are more potent than creams and more potent than solutions. And gels and foams, of course, are at the bottom of that potency list. Some topical products can interfere with absorption of others. So the order of application does matter. In general, you want to think thin to thick. So a foam or a gel would come first, the thinnest, then a solution, then a lotion or a cream, and finally any ointments. A few other tips. Some medications may require you to avoid covering the area. Now with a topical antibiotic, for example, covering is fine and sometimes even recommended depending on the severity and type of wound. But with something like a topical corticosteroid, you might want to avoid covering it as it can increase the potency of the steroid. If possible, you also want to wait 15 minutes between applying any topical products in order to provide some time for the first one to get absorbed. Avoid also moisturizing the skin first as it can create a barrier between the skin and the medication. This is the same concept with things like sunscreens. Sunscreens create a barrier on the skin and prevent any other medication products from being absorbed. The exception here is going to be bug spray. While we think of bug spray as being very thin, bug spray always goes on last. And remember, if we have an open wound or an irritated location, we want to make sure we're covering that with clothing and spraying the bug spray on the outside of the clothing and not directly to the skin or point of contact. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown.